Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. In today's video, we are going to learn how to find out instantaneous rate and the average rate of reaction from the graph. Okay, if the graph of concentration of the reactant or product versus time is given, then how can we calculate the instantaneous rate and the average rate? So let us first understand how to calculate the instantaneous rate. Suppose what is the meaning of instantaneous rate? Instant. Instant means one moment of a time. So if I want to find out the rate at let's say 20 seconds after the reaction has started, then how do you find out that is the question? That is means at this exact 20 seconds, what is the rate of the reaction that we have to calculate? So what will be given to us is a graph of concentration of reactant or product versus time is given. If it is reactant, we had seen yesterday that it is what? It is decreasing. In the last video, we had seen the reactant of concentration, what? It decreases. Why? Because the reactant is getting what? It is getting used up in the reaction. Okay. And it is getting converted to products. So, this will be the plot of the reactants. Now, how do you find out the instantaneous rate? Suppose here there is 20 seconds. This is 20 second mark. Then how will I find out the rate at this? What I will do? I will take the slope of this. I will find out the slope at this point. Now how do you calculate slope? So what is the formula or general formula for slope? Y is equal to mx plus c. Here there is no y, y intercept. What is c? C is the y intercept. M is the slope. Okay. Here there is no y intercept. So c is 0. So the plot is y is equal to mx. Y is, the y is the quantity that we plot on the y-axis that is concentration. Okay, so this is concentration is equal to m into x is the quantity that we write on, write on x-axis that is time. So what will be slope? Slope will be change of concentration divided by change of time. That is how do you cal calculate y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. That is final value of concentration c2 minus c1 divided by time, final value of time minus initial value of time. 2 means final, 1 means initial. Okay, we will understand this in a better manner when we, uh, when we see the graph. Okay, second is how do you, this was the instantaneous rate. Second is how do you calculate the average rate? Suppose I want to calculate the average rate between 20 seconds to 40 seconds. Okay, so this was a point at 20 seconds, right? So suppose 40 seconds come somewhere over here. Okay, so you'll mark both the points. Okay, and that point what you will do, you will uh, calculate the how do you calculate average rate? Change in concentration by changing time. So concentration at 40 seconds minus concentration at 20 seconds divided by time. That is final time is 40 minus 20 seconds. Okay, in this way, you can find out the average rate. Okay, now let us understand this with the help of this numerical. Average rate, first we have to calculate the average rate of reaction between 300 and 800 seconds. So First of all, mark the two points. 800 is here. This is the point for 800. And then at 300 seconds, this is the point. Okay, so first we are finding out the average rate. Okay, that will be concentration at 800 seconds minus concentration at 300 seconds divided by 800 minus 300. And we had seen for reactant what we do. We add a negative sign because this value will be negative. So we have to find out this concentration at 800 second is what this point. This point you have to extrapolate here on the y axis. Okay, it is what 0 0.020. This will be minus 0 0.020 minus concentration at 300 second. This is 300. So concentration at 300 second is what it is you have to extrapolate here. Okay, so this is 0 0.050, this is 0 0.060. So in between point, let's say this is what 0 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव फाइव यूनिट इज मोलार कॉन्सेंट्रेशन इज मोलैरिटी डिवाइडेड बाय दिस इज एट हंड्रेड माइनस थ्री हंड्रेड इज फाइव हंड्रेड सेकेंड ओके सो सॉल्व दिस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू जीरो माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव फाइव दिस कम्स आउट टू बी माइनस इन टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय फाइव हंड्रेड यूनिट इज मोलार पर सेकेंड Okay, so this if you solve, this comes out to be how much? This comes out to be seven into ten raised to minus five. Seven into ten raised to minus five molar per second. Okay, this is how we calculate the average rate. Now, how do you calculate the instantaneous rate? That is the next question. Okay, so next we have to calculate what instantaneous rate. This was what seven into ten raised to minus five. molar per second okay instantaneous rate how do you calculate we have to find out the slope at t is equal to 300 second so t is equal to 300 second is this so consider any two points suppose i consider this point and this point and i will find out the slope you can take any two points okay these two points okay i have to find out what i have to find out the slope Okay, so this point is x one y one. This point is x two y two. Okay, so this let us find out x one y one. X axis. This is what. This is two hundred. And y one is what this value. Y one is this value. This is what zero point. Let's say this is zero point zero six eight. Zero point zero six eight molar. And x two y two. This is second point. X two is what? Extrapolate here on the x-axis. It is four hundred. This will be four hundred seconds, and the corresponding concentration is what? It is zero point. This will be what? Between zero point forty and fifty. So this will be zero point zero four five. Okay, zero point zero four five molar. So now we have all the values. Now we can find out the slope of the reaction. Slope at that point. So now what we are calculating instantaneous rate. This will be y two minus y one divided by x two minus x one. So y two value is how much? Y two value is zero point zero point zero four five minus zero point. Zero six eight, zero point zero six eight divided by x two value is how much? X two is four hundred. Four hundred minus two hundred. Okay, again this is for reactant, so we will add a negative sign in before that. So this will be zero point zero four five minus zero point zero four five minus zero point zero six eight divided by two hundred. So this comes out to be one point one five into ten raised to minus four molar per second. So in this way we can calculate the instantaneous rate. How do you calculate by calculating the slope? I hope you have understood the solution uh, of how to finding find out the average rate and instantaneous instantaneous rate using the graph. Thank you.